boy, oh boy, oh boy. Final Frontier Ready. They even still around. I don't know. Who knows if they're still around. I know the guy that voiced that promo is not. But uh, it is the uh, world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio broadcast. The Sunday radio show on a Tuesday, as they say. Uh, thanks for listening to us on The Mix. And uh, thanks for listening to us all those years on Radio Xenu as well. And we are uh, attempting Facebook Live today as well. And uh, we are going to get back to uh, the fabulous Jay Bird Wells here in just a few seconds. Uh, she, of course, uh, I guess Michael Nagy's supposed to meet her in Wichita. She's, I guess she's recording on Wednesday. Uh, you're going to record, she's going to record on Wednesday her, um, her music video or, or song or, I don't know, something. She's going to be recording something. We can't really get into too much of the details on the air because she'll throw a fit. Uh, because she's rubbing it out for the troops or something. Maybe I've said too much at that point. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we are going to try to get a hold of um, our Skype guest here in just a few seconds. I am uh, attempting. Let's see here. I guess I could just go over here and just click the damn damn icon that would help maybe problem signing into Skype yes I'm having all sorts of issues trying to sign into the old Skype or any the old skip is we need to go to that festival in Austin (laughs) you want to go to South by Southwest should maybe we need to go to South by Southwest I've been to festivals in different countries and I haven't even been to one of the best ones here in the United States well, I hear a lot about South by Southwest. I do. I uh, I hear a heck of a lot about it. And let's see here. Um, where in the world is Carmen San Diego on this thing? Um, let's search Skype, I guess, for these folks. The Adult Film Fest. Uh, LV Las Vegas uh, okay I've got so that's s- different than the AVNs that is different. completely different than the AVNs so Vegas just has adult film festivals apparently non-stop. they just have adult film festivals all over the freaking place it's non-stop um, they, they said they are there waiting for us and they called me deer which is nice um, let's see here. Adult Film Fest. I'm trying to find them on the old Skype Rooney, and I can't seem to. Maybe Adult Film? Adult Film Star Network, maybe? Maybe Adult Film. No. Adult Film Star Network. They'll send me something here in just a few seconds. We've also got to get on uh, today SP Magna Music. Uh, We were supposed to get them last week, but I tried to call them, and all they did was the phone just kept ringing. It just kept ringing, kept ringing, kept ringing. We're not going to do that again this week. Um, And then First Seal, I believe. I wonder if they're... I wonder if they're Hick Hop. Probably not. Hiccup. Oh, hiccup. Like a Johnny. Like Johnny Kim would say. Johnny, who, uh... I don't think Johnny can stand me. There's sounds a, like a story. There's been a lot of rumors about Johnny. Johnny Kim, big star, out of uh, Salina, Kansas. The little... The, the secret Asian man, as we used to call him. Uh, Johnny Kim. He had this place, and Nagy, uh, I fought there, actually, the uh, the, the Muse Ballroom. Uh, that's where we met the band Amasha Room Head, as Johnny would call them. And uh, heck of a deal, they, uh, where, where is this? Do we have something? Do I have it? Um... Oh, okay, I don't have the right thing 
Deja Milan. I guess we'll call Deja from the Adult Film Festival. That ringtone sounds like a Super Mario game. <laughs> it sounds like Super Mario is what it does. You're right. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on the uh, the Oopas or whatever the Koopas or whatever <laughs> uh, the uh, the Oopas That's what and it the, sounds like. the Koopas and the the Shoopas and. It's it, it's it's quite the deal. Let's see here. Let's try her again. Let's go back to Mario World. That's <laughs> what it's like. <laughs> We're gonna go back to Mario World here. If only the world was like that. If just, only the world was like if we that. Could just jump in a warp pipe and then pop out. I could somewhere. just jump in a warp pipe and I could pop out in Iowa or wherever, or where, 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 or wherever Hello. I'm gonna be. And uh, hello. hello, let's uh, let's add uh, Jay to the call because if we don't, she will uh, she will get angry. Punish and, uh, you? <laughs> I don't know if she'll punish us. She's got a whip though, like Catwoman, so it might work. I don't know. Um, <laughs> photographer extraordinaire Michael Nagy is in the studio, and hey. LSP's back to get his charger. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, brother! I tell you, those, those, the, the, the phones and the shenanigans and all that stuff. Uh-huh. It, it has made us all slaves, baby. <laughs> You're like, God damn it! I gotta have my charger. <laughs> see you, brother. <laughs> and um, let's see. I hear you too, but I don't hear anybody else. Heard the door, and I was like, Is that Jeff Ross? <laughs> <laughs> Jay Bird Wells on the old <laughs> Skype. Darkest secrets, my dear. <laughs> what in the world? What's happening? What is happening on this phone call? <laughs> um. First of all, uh, do you two know each other? <laughs> no, the- we just both have nice, sexy, girly voices. So, totally. Well. We we, 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 we we like uh, so, we like sex. We're listening. We're, we're listening. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so tell us about the adult film fest. Is is uh, someone told me that this is like the tall grass film festival for Do porn? Do you hear them? Girl? I can't hear them. They keep cutting out. I know they keep cutting in and out. We keep cutting in and out. What? Really? Oh, you can hear us. Yeah, I can hear you can guys hear you. perfectly. We keep cutting in and out. Oh, that's awesome. But we can't hear you. Well, <laughs> Got a good connection now, so who am I talking to? <laughs> this is Deja Milan with the Adult Film Festival. <gasps> I've been chatting with you on Twitter. You totally have. See, you guys do know each other. <laughs> <laughs> they know each other. It's awesome. Yeah, for like the last 20 minutes. Well, Jay, uh, g- g- go ahead and ask some questions since, since you're here. Well, are you, Jay. Are you Jay, ask Hello, some questions. There? Jay, can you hear us? <laughs> that I can. It, it does keep cutting in and out. So I honestly thought when we were t- chatting on Twitter that you were um, a, a, a guy. guy. So are I you? Are everybody <laughs> always does? <laughs> so are it, you just we like, haven't <laughs> got to that point yet? I guess where it's. It's, you know, not unheard of that women are business owners yes. and taking over, and especially someone in this position that I'm in. Yeah, I'm the creator sure. and owner of the Adult Film Festival, and I'm actually ex-talent and an executive producer. So I come from the industry. Wow. Look at that. She comes from the adult film industry. That's fantastic. Thank you. So, so tell us about the Adult Film Festival. What, what, what is this? Well, we decided. I decided a few years ago that you know I wanted to do something um, after the tube sites came in and pretty much took over and started stealing people's content and telling them "fuck you," you know, stealing with one hand and flipping them off with the next. I decided that you know instead of laying around bitching about it, there was something I needed to do. To still keep porn and its producers and the people who have a passion for it relevant. So, 
I came up with the idea of the Adult Film Festival, and this we are in our third year. Our next event is this coming weekend in Las Vegas at the Erotic Heritage Museum, January 26th through the 28th. And then we have two after parties. We have a Friday night after party that has a bunch of porn star hosts and co-hosts. And then we have, like, Kiki Dare, Raquel Soltra. Um, I mean, the list just goes on. We've had an amazing lineup. And then Shawn Michaels on Saturday night Not is, is resurrecting his Erotic Nights Ball with us. So we're oh. really excited about that as well. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Now, of so, course, uh, na- 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 go, Jay. Go. Yes? Go. Um, do you guys think of yourself as a, um, like a co-worker with other uh, award ceremonies, or is it a competition with the different award companies? Oh, I, okay, that's a really good question. My personal belief has always been there's no such thing as competition, especially in this industry, because every body is their own brand. There's not another you. So as I was building my brand, it didn't matter if there were other natural redheads or fair skin or talent who didn't do anal or gang bangs. Like that didn't matter to me. I was still building me. I was still building my brand. And that rolls over onto my film festival as well. In fact, it's funny you ask that because um, there's a lifestyle party out here called Perfect LV. And they're actually running this coming Wednesday through Saturday night um, at the Alexis Park. And she had said, well, don't you think there's like a conflict of interest with us? I said, no, because your event is small. My event is small. There's plenty of time for people to hit up both. So I personally, as the owner of AFFLV, encourage anyone who is in the adult film industry to join us. It doesn't matter what you're doing. To me, there's no, there's no conflict because you're not a film festival. You're not doing what I'm doing. And I've even encouraged our contracted featured stars that are coming that if they're doing their own little side meet and greet or party or whatever to feel free to promote it from my event. So the answer is no. I don't believe in competition. And I welcome anyone who wants to be a part of AFFLV. Awesome. So I have a question. So there's a lot of different uh, adult film festivals in Vegas. So I was wondering how your event differs maybe from other events or so, like a standout or something different. Well, um, because we are the only adult film festival in Las Vegas, that pretty much stands out to itself. And then as far as the activities that we have going, we are the only adult event that I am aware of that creates a set and allows its attendees to take topless and nude pictures on set with their favorite stars. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's a seller right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. I started that last year, and I cannot tell you. It was so funny. Allura Jensen walked in the door just to come say hi and check us out, and she got bombarded by, like, a whole line of guys. They ran over and got in line waiting for her, and I said, hey, you want to come take some pics? And (laughs) we actually compensate our stars for every picture that's taken. So we don't ask them. I mean, we're totally pro pay for your porn support your favorite stars they have bills to pay too and so we do the same we don't expect anything for free wow very i got a question on what you were talking about a minute ago Mm -hmm. do do certain people in the porn industry say i don't do this or i don't do that and they can stick with that no rule most definitely yes most definitely in fact I did that as talent from the late 1900s. I came in in 1999 um, till I started producing in 2007. And I, you know, I didn't do anal. I didn't do game bangs. I did fetish in place because, see, my whole goal, I was going to get compensated regardless. So it wasn't really about how much money I was making as opposed to what was this credit I was going to get to help build my brand. And by me having that attitude, when the internet came in and killed the DVD in the early 2000s, I had already transitioned technically because I'd been shooting fetish for a couple years before then. So when all the big DVD companies went out of business, my I kept going. 
I didn't see a stop. And there were girls that were like, they'd come on set and they'd be like, oh my God, Deja, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have a $10,000, you know, mortgage due next month and I'm not getting any work because they unfortunately were only willing to work for the big DVD companies at that time. So, so are you telling me that there's no DVDs sold now and it's all on web? No, 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 no. I said when internet came in and killed the DVD. Oh, okay. All the Sales went DVD down. companies in Porn Valley, when they went out of business because the internet, you know, made them shut their uh, B and M doors. Okay. You know, their brick and mortar doors. Yeah. So everything. I see what well, you never know. With net neutrality now, online. you might might have to be paying soon for it. So you don't know. So do what? Well, with net neutrality now, you might have to be paying for porn now. There might not be all these free streaming sites eventually. So that might help you guys out. Yeah. <laughs> and what was you saying, Jay? <laughs> um, I was so busy listening to Mike's question. Um, question. Um, so we talked to somebody here. I don't remember who it was, but they said that... I've he- I've had fans suggest I like get into porn, and, and my husband's like, you can't do guys, you can only do girls. And there was somebody that said that that doesn't work, that you, you have to be open to being with everything. Well, what they, what they didn't finish on that sentence was, if you want to really establish a name, you, you know, you, we're not where we were 15 years ago, where, I mean, again... I encourage anyone to never go beyond their limitation to do anything they don't want to do. But it depends on how far within the industry you want to go. I mean, okay, so for example, back in my day, I was shooting, you know, the same generation as like Jenna Jameson and Jill Kelly and, you know, Lexington Steele, Shawn Michaels. I mean, all the, all those names um, went back when Metro and Vivid had contract people. You know, so the only person who I've ever seen, the only female I've ever seen get away with only shooting girl-on-girl content was Felicia Carr. She was the only one of our entire industry that literally was able to say, I'm only shooting girl-girl, and still build a, a big name for herself. And obviously, she didn't have a mama's belly and scars, and she's probably skinnier than me. Well, I haven't seen you, but yeah, she had an amazing body. She was young. But again, this was a different generation in a different time. Now, I, as a producer, definitely encourage you, if you want to start your own line and only do girl, girl, hey, go for it. You know, you will have every body. There, I've always said, you know, back before BBW came popular, I was shooting BBWs because I believe there is a market for every single person out there. Even if you only have five followers, that's still five people who will buy content from you. <laughs> but I like to think I'm a well-rounded producer as well. Wow, Jay, you could do like cosplay porn. You got that cat suit I know. and everything. I had a fan who had a fetish for me when I was wearing the belly dancing Sith. He wanted to shoot me in a video of me, like, uh, yeah, stripping with the belly dancing Sith costume. See, you got a fan base already for it. <laughs> and- and then he wanted to film me and my husband sleeping together. I'm like, uh, no. Right, right. Yeah, we definitely try and, um, you know, keep personal lives personal. Um, don't mention too much about spouses or even that you are married unless that's the whole premise of what you're going for. Like, you know, we're this couple coming out together and this is what our company is and, you know, the basis of what we're doing. But otherwise... You know, I really try and deflect personal questions, you know, like even on my Twitter, I've had um, my contracted stars will get their super fans or just fans that come on and ask them, do you have a boyfriend? And I'm like, nope, she's taken. She's mine. You know, and they're like, who are you? I'm like, is that really even like your business? First of all, has nothing to do with the conversation. And then they're like, oh, yeah, okay, no problem. So I try and play it off. You know, the best way possible to still not look like, 
you know, be rude or look like a bitch saying, look, that's really none of your fucking business, you know, but <laughs> technically that's what I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, when I see it. So, you know, for anybody listening, when you do contact your favorite stars, because you guys have an advantage now that I didn't have back 15 years ago with social media. You know, people, oh, you have much more access to all these stars now. So when you do approach them, be respectful. And you'll be amazed how many of them will like your tweets, will reply to your tweets, will retweet your tweets. But show support. I mean, everybody has to pay bills at the end of the day. You can't pay your landlord with likes. You know, so support the people that you want to continue being able to see. Out of all the porn stars I've interviewed, I'll have to admit, you're my favorite. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you got any questions for uh, for our guest here? So, do you do film festivals elsewhere, or just the one in Vegas? Or I just do this one once a year at the Erotic Heritage Museum um, in Las Vegas. Yes. Okay. I don't do any more. Any people have asked me to bring it east and do this and do that, and I'm just really not there right now. I really want to establish us. You know, just as a once a year limited, um, you know, select event. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to prostitute myself all over, you know, North America. That's not (laughs) (laughs) what I'm looking to do. You mean you you don't want to come to the Bible Belt of America? (laughs) Oh, you know what? And you know what's so funny? You know, back when I was uh, signing for hot movies in like 2003, 2004, I forget which convention it was, but they had flown me out to Hollywood, Florida, and we actually had people out there picketing our appearance at the Renaissance Hotel, or I think it was Renaissance, whatever hotel we were at at the time, and it was hilarious. So other pornographers were making signs also and standing next to them. Like one guy had, (laughs) um, you know, porn promotes rape, and porn is a sin, and all this, and uh, one of the other, one of our guys, uh, you know, within the industry, were making signs, and they were going standing out there with them, but they were saying complete, their sign said complete opposite of what everybody was saying, it was, it was funny. (laughs) They obviously did not read the kosher sex book. (laughs) (laughs) Clearly. (laughs) What in the world? It is, uh, it is Michael (laughs) Maggie. It is Chambered Wells, and uh, we're talking today, Adult (laughs) Film Festival. Um, So, so, uh, if if, if people are in town uh, for for all the various things, you know, you know, just all the stuff. Oh, yeah, there's so many events going on this weekend in Las Vegas, all Uh, over town. Wow. What, what what can they expect if they come over to to your event and uh, and hang out and everything? Well, we have on Saturday at five. We have um, Dr. Marky Twist is coming back for her third year to do um, a seminar for couples only called Tantra with a Twist, and it's it's a class actually, not a seminar. My apologies. And, you know, and she actually teaches couples how to get in tune with each other um, spiritually, uh, physically, emotionally, like all of that. It's really an amazing class. So I would definitely suggest, you know, for couples to come check it out. And I really, I would love to see more women, which I've started to each year, see more women come through and couples come through. Because the museum has been really amazing um, with us and our attendees. And they have given um, permission for all of our ticketed attendees to be able to enter the exhibits as well. And it's a 25,000 square foot facility. So, you know, once you get through our activities of the film screenings that will be playing in the downstairs theater, the set where you can take pics with the stars... Um, you know, going through the, the, the individual stars that will be there. We're doing a rotation of stars every hour. Um, and then on the days, we have parties going on. And then we have the after parties at night. And then we have the classes and discussions. And, you know, there's so much going on. But, again, we're a small event. You know, you're, you can there's definitely stuff to do for, you know, a few hours there. But, I mean, it's not something that's going to take up your entire day. 
you can literally plan to do us and a couple other things in a day and then come back to our after parties at 11 o'clock. Wow. Next year, we got to go. How late do those after parties run? Uh, the Friday night is until 3, uh, or I'm sorry, until 2 a.m., and then Shawn Michaels is until 3 a.m. on Saturday. Wow. We might have Next to, year, uh, Jiggy. Next year. We might have to uh, <laughs> ma- make the trip out there and... Uh, and, 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 and cause some trouble with the uh, Oh, that'd be festival. awesome. We uh, make trouble. Well, uh, well, I appreciate you making time for us today, my friend. Thanks for coming on. Yes, no problem. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And everybody who does, who is going to be in Vegas or is in Vegas already can go to AFFLV.com and check us out um, and grab tickets there. And our social media is all Adult Film Festival LV, so you can just Google us. I like to be Googled. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Well, uh, I appreciate well, it. I appreciate it. Out, if we didn't start out as best friends before, we will be now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick little time out, and uh, we will be back here in just a few moments. Uh, thank you, my friend. Thanks for being with us. No problem. Thank Definitely. you. Definitely. And uh, we are going to hang up with Jay Bird Wells and uh, her new best friend there. And uh, we are going to take a little bit of a break. Uh, and no, when Jay's we come back, we've the, got uh, more coming up. Film world. So it's time she's to shop at the order. online mall at bargainbrute.com. With over 2 million different products on sale, in stock, and ready to ship, it's the easiest place to shop online 